Hello and welcome to my channel. In this short video, we want to learn how we can clone a repository from GitHub. As you know, as a developer, you need to, to clone a repository, to clone a tool or a service on your machine in order to be able to change your, to do your uh, desired changes for that tool. So let's go and let's uh, do it. For this video, I've selected this tool here. It's a homer. So what does this tool do? Is not our topic in this video, but as a um, brief explanation, I can tell you that is um, a static homepage as you see here, and it's a very good tool if you have too many uh, uh, tools, if you have too many applications on your system, and uh, you have to keep uh, too many URLs with different ports uh, in your mind. So you can just simply uh, install this tool on your machine and change the configuration and add all of your application and tools here so that you'll be able to access them on your machine just with the use of one click as you see here so let's go back and let's um, uh, try to clone this uh, this tool on our machine as you see we have some uh, options here and one of them is the code here if i click on that a window will be opened and in this window we have um, uh, other options the first one is the https it means that you can clone with the use of this option you can clone uh, you can clone this um, this tool or https the second one is the github cli and the last one is download uh, in a zip file so if you click on that the tool will be downloaded in a zip format but in this video we want to clone this tool over HTTPS. So you, you just click on that and after that you have to copy this URL here. For that either you just click here and after that you make a copy of that or you just click here as you see and the URL will be copied. After copying the URL we go back to the terminal and we change the directory to our desired directory in this case server and after that we try to uh, to clone this tool on our machine for that sudo git clone for cloning a repository or a tool from github on your machine you need this command and after that you paste the url of that tool this is url url that uh, we just copied on github and after that you just need to simply press Enter, you see that the tool will be cloned on your machine. And if we make a list, uh, we have a new directory, and this directory is that tool that we just uh, cloned here. You see that Homer. And if I change the directory to that and make a list here, we have uh, all of the uh, scripts and all of the configuration files of this tool here, and um, we can change them as we want so for cloning a um, repository you need this command but suppose that um, you have a proxy server also a proxy server is uh, between your network and internet so in that case uh, you have to use another configuration for cloning the, the repository uh, you give this command here and after that minus minus config and after that double quotation and here you have to give http dot proxy equals here you have to give the url of your uh, proxy server your your proxy server and after that semicolon and the port of your proxy server we say for example 8080 and after that we do uh, again <coughs> uh, double uh, double quotes with the use of this configuration here uh, you can again use um, uh, you can uh, again clone a repository from github if you have a proxy server so this time if i press enter uh, you see that could not resolve proxy your proxy server cannot unable to access it it means that uh, it search uh, for this proxy server and want to 
to establish uh, a connection uh, uh, through this proxy server with the GitHub, but it cannot uh, it cannot find it. So it says that unable to access because it cannot resolve this proxy. And it is uh, it is true because I don't have such a proxy server here. But if you have, you can use this configuration for your um, uh, for cloning the repository, and after that, you will be able to clone the repository. So that's it. If you think that it was useful for you, it will be nice if you like or uh, subscribe or comment the video. Thanks a lot.